Whatever. At least then I can feed people. Here, all the crap we can get away with it. Counterfeit son of a bitches. All of them are counterfeits. I should have listened to Jason. Should have listened to Jason. Jason was right. He told me Christmas hated him and she was coming for him. I didn't listen. He told me Josh would turn on him. Didn't listen. Told me not to trust Paul. Didn't listen. Now essentially our whole game is thrown because of those three pieces of crap. I wish I didn't even have to vote at this point because they all shady. Paul, once he realizes how much I prayed and I hope for him, I hope he feels bad about it because he's a total boner. Total boner. So I guess I got played. Whatever. At least my friendship card is intact because, you know what the su sucky part is? Oh, by the way, Pop TV, thank you for everything. I was just being a little bit salty because I hate everyone in the house right now. But I do appreciate the milkshakes. I was just being a douche. I shouldn't be a douche, but I'm kind of salty because now I pretty much lost my chance at 500,000 and 50,000 because Paul's afraid to go head to head with me. That's right, everyone watching now, Mr. Friendship is afraid of me going head to head because he doesn't want to lose again and let all his friends down. But I think not taking your friend to the end is worse. That's not friendship, that's not boys, that's playing people. You guys would have seen me off camera how hard I was praying for him to win so that both of us could advance to first and second. God, you would hate Paul, but I don't hate him because I'm gonna give him a fair assessment when we get there. And actually, out of the people who are left, out of Kevin, Christmas, and Josh, Paul's gonna get my vote. I'm gonna go to jury, and I'm gonna try to make sure everyone votes for him. But is he a skis bag? Yes. Is he a douche? Yes. Did he play me? Yes. And then when you watch back, you'll see me not running during the comic book ones because I wanted him to catch up because I thought he was gonna pull me off. But you know what? He played me. Absolutely played me. Whatever. Hopefully you guys like me enough. You've seen that I've played a good game. I've won enough stuff that you vote for me for America's Favorite. And then after this, I'm never drinking an AMF again. Salty. I used to have a salty shirt. They won't let me wear it because it's not camera proof. But man, I've never seen a bigger group of pussies in my life. Actually, Josh too. Why does he always have to be crying about everything? If you're gonna make a power move, stand by it. I wanna see your tears. I don't wanna hear you bitch. Grow the fuck up. Don't be such a little whore. God, if you want me out, get me out. Don't turn around and tell me you wanna be friends because that's a bitch move. Don't be a bitch. How about that? Paul, if you wanna win, you go head to head. Why didn't you tell me that? Because then I would've played my ass off for BB Comics and beat you and then your ass would've gone home. But no, I was still living the dream that we were a team and we were gonna go to the end. You're such a counterfeit prick, dude. When Jason hears, I'm gonna try to get Jason to vote for you, Paul, but I don't think he will. Jason's gonna wig out at jury when he sees me. I should have listened to Jason. I should have listened to Jillian. Jillian, if you're there, I should have listened to you. You're right, Paul played me. But I watched Paul's season and I thought friendship was the main thing, but no, it's not. He says it's not about the money. Well then why aren't you okay with taking me all the way to the end? Because if you went second two years in a row, that's almost as good as winning. If it's not about the money for you, you greedy son of a bitch. But tomorrow, again, is gonna be, it's gonna be um, the POV ceremony. And I mean, I'm gonna try, but it's pretty much a useless cause at this point because Paul basically told me he's choosing himself over friendship. So everyone who got a friendship tattoo, just remember that if you're high and dry and you need your friend, Paul's gonna back out. 
Jason told me though, Jason Dent, a bigger man, literally a bigger man, told me that I deserved to go to the end with him and that he would make sure that I won because he knew that I was playing this game and I was playing it well. All my HOHs, I won on my own merit, except for the one that Alina threw to me, but she was wigging out and she was gonna lose, so I don't wanna be on the wall all day, so I made a deal with her. Which, by the way, that bitch stole $5,000 from me in the Outback Steakhouse one. Stupid bitch. God, and now all these prissy motherfuckers, Christmas with their broken leg. Oh, I don't want anyone to carry me to the end. Well, boo hoo, who threw you two HOHs? God, literally, this show is full of counterfeits. At least in Paul's season, everyone would fucking tell you to your face. Paul said he came to me first and he's conflicted. No, dude, you know that I would beat you and you're scared. You're not a friend. Don't come around here with your friendship bullshit. Friendship is bullshit. I have real friends who would die for me, who would take me to the end like Jason Dunn, then fucking fuck me. And I'm the good kind of fuck, the bad fuck. God. Sorry, I'm irritated and I'm bored. And basically, this is all I have for the next four days, unless there's a surprise eviction on Tuesday, which I'm hoping for, so at least I can go talk to Jason in person and apologize to him for letting these motherfuckers play me so bad. God. And you know what? Game-wise, Paul's doing excellent because he's eliminating his only competition in the game, but he's doing exactly what Cody said he was gonna do, and that was take Josh all the way to the finish line so he could win. What kind of coward does that? I know I've said it a hundred times, but literally, who goes to the Olympics and the Super Bowl and the Mer Academy Awards and wants to lose, or actually wants to win against like all the crappy people? No, you wanna win against the best. And in every competition, he's had someone throw it to him, except for, actually, BB Storm? BB Storm, Jason threw it to him. So he's had his shit thrown to him every competition, except for the terminal. Actually, the terminal, no, the terminal, he won fair and square. So I will give him the terminal. He did win that fair and square. Baby Storm, though, he asked Jason to throw it. He asked Raven to throw it. Like, he asked uh, Kevin to throw it. Not cool, Gumpy. There's no word. For the last me, myself, and I, I tried to throw it to him with eight questions. Eight questions, and he couldn't get it right. Literally, literally eight questions. We had to do eight sun death rounds. And not only did I throw him that one, but Jason went home because of that. He knew he was getting back to word, and I just didn't pay attention enough because I wanted to focus on saving Paul because I knew I wanted to save our team. And he assured me that Jason was safe. I think he knew that Jason wasn't safe. And Jason went home because of that. So when Paul cried to me, it was a bunch of fake bullshit, dude. Fake. Fake motherfuckers. All fucking fake in here, dude. The only person who's been real? Me. I fucking tell you to your face I don't like you. Kevin hates me because I tell him all the time that I can't stand him. And I'm the one getting fucking boned on. Well, they can fuck themselves, dude. But then all this other bullshit, Christmas pretending. Christmas is a liar, dude. Oh, I'm gonna be too weak and I need to be taken out soon, blah, 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 blah. No, bitch, you played us. You're a liar also. God, and Josh, shut up with your crying. Just fucking get me out. Leave me the fuck alone. We're not gonna be friends. Am I salty? Yes. But don't come to me when I save you during the double eviction. I could have fucking put your ass up for what you did to Jason, but instead I chose to save you as a friend. Then I let you win the veto, and then you fucking still bow me. No one in this house is trustworthy, except for me. Literally, if I make you a promise, like I promised Paul, I'm going to vote for him for jury if he makes it, then make, like, stick by your promises, dude. Like, how hard is that, dude? It makes me so jaded about people in the real world. Like, I can't wait to get back in the real world and see people who are actually genuine people. Like, I miss Jason so much, dude. He never would let me get down like this. He kept me in line. He kept me from going crazy. And every time I won a competition or an HOH, it's because he told me how good I was beforehand. And I was like, I don't think I can win this thing. And he cheered me up and told me I could. That last HOH, fake news, that was for you, Jason. 
Sorry, I didn't get out the right counterfeits. And I don't believe Paul about, oh yeah, Raven's a stronger competitor. Raven, Raven, the stronger competitor. Maybe to you, how scared are you of girls? Dude, everyone in this house is afraid of girls. Now you're gonna bring a handicapped girl to the end who hasn't done jack shit, hasn't won one veto, hasn't played in an HOH that she's won by her own merit. Tales from the Crypt, Paul threw it to her. I'm sorry, I'm being super salty. Well, you would understand if somebody just boned you out of at least $50,000. Now I don't even get that. At least Paul was assured that one of us would get first and one of us could get second. Now he's making sure that I get zero. What kind of friendship is that? Tool, he's a tool bag. Total tool bag. God, I've never been a bigger tool bag. I've had ex-boyfriends bone me worse that weren't as toolish as him. God, literally played the shit.